U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin has confirmed the presence of North Korean troops in Russia, heightening concerns over escalating tensions in the region. There is evidence that there are DPRK troops in Russia. What exactly they are doing? Left to be seen. These are things that we need to sort out. In a closed-door briefing with lawmakers on Monday, South Korea's National Intelligence Service Director Cho Tae-yong also confirmed the presence of North Korean soldiers in Russia. As of now, it seems 1,500 additional soldiers have been sent to Russia, and the National Intelligence Service estimates the number of North Korean soldiers deployed to Russia is about 3,000 so far. It is possible that more soldiers have been sent, and there can be some discrepancies, but it is what they estimate. Deployment of approximately 10,000 soldiers, which North Korea and Russia had planned, is expected to take place sometime in December. The confirmation comes amid rising apprehensions about the potential for a broader conflict in Ukraine that could involve North Korea, a third nation in the ongoing hostilities. Reports suggest that North Korean forces have organized into four brigades, raising questions about their potential deployment to the front lines in Ukraine. We have information that two units of military personnel from North Korea are being trained, potentially even two brigades of 6,000 people each. And this is a challenge. This would mark North Korea's first notable involvement in an international conflict, despite its substantial military of approximately 1.2 million personnel with limited combat experience. Analysts say that North Korea has received assurances from Russia regarding security support, particularly as tensions rise around its nuclear program in relation to the United States and South Korea. If North Korea can intervene in the war in Europe, then the pressure on this regime is definitely not strong enough. And if Russia is still able to expand and prolong this war, it means that everyone in the world who is still not helping to force Russia into peace is actually helping Putin to wage war. Recent satellite imagery released by South Korea's intelligence services has shown North Korean special forces boarding Russian vessels, suggesting their transfer to the Russian mainland. This development highlights the deepening military collaboration between Pyongyang and Moscow as both nations navigate a complex geopolitical landscape.